Hi, and this video is actually in response to some questions I've gotten regarding the way I mark the active current page in uh, this tutorial. And you're going to see I've actually created another document here, a rather simple document with just an unordered list here. And this is going to be the menu for this site. Now, the easiest way to mark the current page is just to simply create a unique class style. I've called it current here and to place that class style on whatever the current page is. So you can see in this version of the menu, the class style has been applied to the home page, which is what we're on right now. But if I go ahead and go to another page, like I'm on my home page now, if I click on about, you're going to see it switches to that page. And if I go ahead and open up the source code for about, you're going to see that the menu is different on this page. The second list item has the class current on it here. And all that we have to do is create a simple CSS style that formats any A tag with a current class with the styling that we want. In this case, I'm just turning it red. And if we go ahead and try that again, let's say I'm going to go to uh, services here. You don't see the same thing happens there. The same thing happens with contact. And again, if I open up those two pages for you to see, when I come to services, that class has been applied to the third menu item. And when I come to contact, that current class has been applied to the fourth menu item contact. Now, this will work for very small, um, simple websites. But once you get above four or five, maybe 10 pages, you're going to need to uh, begin to reuse some of the components on your page so you don't have to type them out and customize them um, individually every time. And there are numerous ways to do that. You can do it with Dreamweaver templates. You can also use library items for blocks of code like this here. Or you can use a more traditional method um, creating includes on your page. But regardless of whether you use library items or includes, the block of code that you're going to reuse is going to be the same on every single page. So we're not going to be able to create an include or a library item and then apply a custom class based on what page it is. Again, because that has to be the same on every page. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and close these out here. And let's see an example of the way I did it in the tutorial. I'll go ahead and open up these files for us to look at here, our four files. And you're going to see here, I've applied a unique class style to every individual list item within my navigation. And that's going to be the same on every single page. And you'll see that for contact. The only thing that changes is I apply a class style on the body tag. Now, this method won't actually work with Dreamweaver templates, or it won't work easily with Dreamweaver templates. But this will work really well with PHP includes or with Dreamweaver um, library items. So again, this is just a more flexible way to reuse content creating the class styles like this when they match up. And again, allows you to harness the power of library items, includes, or other types of uh, techniques for reusing content. So either way will work. This gives me a little bit more flexibility, and I prefer uh, this way. But if you've got a very simple website and you want to use the current class, there's no reason why you can't do um, that.